This month, the MHRA announced the licensing of the drug anastrozole and has been recommended to be used in the prevention of breast cancer in those women who are moderate to high risk of developing the disease. So what is so special about this drug? How does it work and who should be taking it? Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast surgeon here to talk about things related to health in general and breast cancer specifically. The MHRA is the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency in the UK. And this month, it licensed the drug anastrozole to be used as a preventative drug to prevent breast cancer. But hold on, that name kind of sounds familiar. Well, you are right, because anastrozole has been used for over 20 years in the treatment of breast cancer. It is usually prescribed to postmenopausal women who have been diagnosed with a hormone-sensitive breast cancer. In other words, if it is an estrogen receptor positive or ER positive cancer. Anastrozole is classed as an aromatase inhibitor that works by lowering the level of estrogen in the body by blocking the enzyme aromatase. This enzyme converts androgens into estrogen and so by inhibiting this enzyme with the drug anastrozole, it lowers the level of estrogen in the body, depriving the breast cancer cells of their drive to grow. So anastrozole has been used to treat breast cancer for many years. But the use of anastrozole doesn't stop there. The IBIS-2 trial initiated in 2003 recruited postmenopausal women without breast cancer, but at high risk of developing it to either receive anastrozole or placebo. The first analysis reported a 53% reduction of incidence of all breast cancer types. The study was then extended to a randomized, double-blinded, placebo-controlled trial and recruited around 3,700 postmenopausal women. They were again randomly assigned to either anastrozole or placebo. The results were published in 2019 by the journal The Lancet, and the researchers found a 61% reduction in incidence of breast cancer in the first five years, and the effect continued in subsequent years. The common side effects were arthralgia, joint stiffness, hot flashes, night sweats and dry eyes, but there were no major adverse events noted. And so on the back of this study, NICE, which is National Institute for Health and Care Excellence in the UK, recommended the use of anastrozole for breast cancer prevention in high-risk postmenopausal women. And this was supported in the USA by the US Preventative Services Task Force. So if it has been shown to reduce incidence of breast cancer in those deemed at high risk all those years ago, then why has it been in the news now? Well, although it has been used to treat breast cancer, it was first recommended as a preventative option by NICE in 2017. The issue was, because the drug was unlicensed for this use, uptake remained low. Fast forward six years later, Thanks to the medicines repurposing program led by NHS England, the drug has now been licensed by the MHRA as a preventative option. This is specifically for women at increased risk of developing breast cancer, including those with a significant family history of the disease. It has been estimated that around 289,000 women at moderate or high risk of breast cancer could be eligible for the drug. And if 25% of these women decide to take anastrozole, around 2,000 cases of breast cancer could potentially be prevented in England, while saving the NHS around £15 million in treatment costs. I think this is a great initiative by the Medicines Repurposing Programme, which was set up in 2021, hosted by NHS England and supported by the MHRA, NICE and NIHR, as well as the Department of Health. It aims to identify and progress opportunities to use existing licensed medicines in new ways. Its efforts were noticeable during the COVID-19 pandemic, where um, tocilizumab, which is an arthritic drug, and dexamethasone, which is a widely used steroid, were repurposed for treatments of COVID-19. Now we have a drug that is already being used for treating breast cancer and is given the license as a preventative drug. That can only be a good thing. I'll see you in the next one.